Welcome to Lecture 10.4, Describing Personalities. ASL is a topic comment language. In other words, you must name the subject before describing it. English allows the adjective to come first, but not in ASL. You must set up the person, place, or thing before you add signs describing it. I will demonstrate the following examples. The topic is first, followed by descriptive signs that explain or expand upon its meaning. Weather, cool and breezy. Joshua, optimistic. Sheila, critical. Cousin Donna, careless. Ben, mean. All languages seek efficiency with fluency, and ASL is no different. Once you set up the person in the signing space, you can just point to them as a reference, and your index finger pointing means he she, or they. Also, adjectives can be listed without repeating the verbs and pronouns each time. I will demonstrate the following examples of listed adjectives. Wendy is smart, snobbish, and arrogant. Joshua is optimistic, supportive, and laid back. Sheila is critical, strict, and efficient. Cousin Donna is careless and crabby. Ben is mean, a big talker, and mocking. Postural shifting in ASL is not just for dialogue. It also works to contrast and compare ideas or people. The postural shift functions to set up concepts like but, in contrast to, and on the other hand. In the following examples, I use postural shifting and the signing space setup to draw comparisons between two different people. Pay attention to the angle of my shoulders as I lean to the left or right depending on the person I'm referring to. Jim is always broke. Jan is good with money management. Ron is polite and humble. Don is rude and a braggart. Lori is shy and straight-laced. Luke, he's brave. Loves meeting people, chatting, very social. The topic comment structure can also become part of a compound sentence in ASL. I will demonstrate the following examples. Your speech is vague. I misunderstood. Sorry. That boy, he's complaining and complaining and he keeps interrupting me. I don't like it. Jen has a soft heart, but she's a procrastinator. She does not finish her work on time. Once you set up a person, place, or thing in the signing space, you can create an extended discourse of descriptions. I will demonstrate. Bob is a little taller than me. 
He doesn't have any hair. He's bald. His eyes are blue, and he's 70 years old. He's got a soft heart. He's supportive, very creative, sharing, smart. And his art, oh, I really love it. Practice describing the people close to you in ASL using these sentence structures from Unit 10.